what's up everybody welcome to a new youtube video today i'm going to be showing you guys a video on creating some epic t-shirt designs for redbubble all right so let's go ahead and get started something i like to do is i like to jump over here to canva and let's go ahead and create a custom size of 4500 by 5400 now this is a good size because you can utilize this size for your merch you can utilize this for uh, other websites um, but more importantly it works well for redbubble for what we're trying to do now and something that i also like to do is i like to head over here to the file head over to the margins because I, I just want to see you know all my distance everything that's going on inside the art here now there's different styles of creating different kinds of t-shirts uh, what i've seen is that when i think of uh success on redbubble i think of t-shirts now i don't necessarily get my designs that are all selling t-shirts in fact a lot of my products are lower priced products uh when i say lower priced, i mean like the stickers um you know things like that that just sell really well uh that's what typically makes a lot of the uh, well not a lot of the money but some of the money and then i have some other stores that strictly sell on products like duffel bags and leggings and things like that so i get a little bit of a mix but every single time i'm trying to create a design I start off thinking, okay, how would it look on a t-shirt, okay? And so, I like to do different things here, and I like to have different guides and different setups, um, and what I like to do is I like to think of, okay, there's a few ways that people typically design, okay? And what I typically tend to see is that designs with just text or designs with just an image will typically sell less than the combination of using a text and an image, Okay, does that make it clear? And and that's just my opinion. I'm not sure uh, if there's any kind of resources to back this up or kind of any information. I personally haven't checked it and I haven't done the research on my account. So I'm not going to go through, you know, all those uh, different numbers to figure out what the numbers are behind it. But that's just my opinion. And what I've learned was that there's a certain style that may get more sales over another. So let's go ahead and, and kind of get this set up here. So what I like to do is when I create my designs, I like to think of, okay, what is going to look good on a t-shirt, right? So we have two elements. We have text, right? And so let's go ahead and add some text. And we have an image. So I'll just pull up, let's say, like this image here, okay? So what we could do, and one style, is we can have text followed by an image, right? Text followed by an image. Well, what's another style we can have? We can have an image followed by text, right? Now, this might seem kind of basic, but if we look at it, on some of our designs, maybe sometimes we miss the the um, situation where we can add text to an image or we can add image to a text type of design, right? And so what I like to do is I like to shoot for image and text together. Well, there's different ways we can set up an image text, right? So we have this way where we have the text on the top. We have an image on the top on the bottom. Here's an image on the top. Here we have text on the top on the bottom. Well, what's another way we can set this up? We can actually set up text like this, right? Where it comes down. Let me go ahead and just uh, reduplicate this and kind of show what I'm talking about because I just made a mistake here. But let me go like this and do something like that, right? And I can just drag this it's a little hard to drag, but I can drag this kind of this way, and we can have text coming down, downwards to the right here, something like this, and we can have an image here. I've seen designs like this before. Um, we can have even the opposite approach where we have text here and an image here, right? So there's different ways to set things up, all right? And there's even ways where we can even kind of add advancements to something like this where we have text on the top image in the middle and then text on the bottom right we could do that and there could be different layers of text as well and so what we when we what we're doing when we create a design like this is we're essentially adding more character to it and remind you i want to remind you guys is that when you get a sale on redbubble the first thing it has to do, guys, other than the tagging, other than the titling, that's like not even a question. You got to get that done. You got to get that taken care of. But other than those kind of aspects, what's next? Well, it has to catch people's eye. And what I want you to do is when you create your designs, I want you to think of, okay, how can my design catch somebody else's eye? So let's go over here to um, uh, Redbubble. Okay, let's pull up Redbubble. And what I want to do is I want to search for a design that says Bobcats, 
Okay, and let's see what comes up. I personally have no idea what's going to come up. I search for Bobcats, and in terms of the most relevant here, we have 5,613 designs, and I the first kind of like something similar to a Bobcat is this. Let me go ahead and search the word Bobcat. How about that? Okay, and so there we go. We have a Bobcat here, 513 as well, a little more specific, 5,613, which is interesting. Um, we have some Bobcats here. Well, what I could do is I could stand out from the crowd. I see that people are putting real pictures of Bobcats here. Mine is a cartoon type of image, so it's not really real. Um, here it says Made in USA, and then we have another Bobcat logo here. Well, I have, I have a different ideas that I could do. So one of the ideas that I could do is I could come over here and add the word Bobcats, right? And what this could be is this could be like almost like a sports team kind of setup here, like a baseball kind of thing. So I could do, um, let's, let's look for some sort of like a script, a thick script kind of font here, okay? So I could do this. This works. This Bobcats text works. Let's see if we have something a little bit better. Let's see here. This works as well. Probably not the best. Let's see this one. This one seems like a little bit better. I do like this one, okay? I do like this one. Let's see if we have something else. We have this. I actually do like the other one. So I, I like this the most, okay? And what I could do is I can enlarge it just like that, okay? And what I could do is also I could get fancy with it a little bit. So I know personally from my design experience that... Let me go ahead and add the number one here, and what I could do is, let me grab uh, more uh, another script here, and add something like this, right? In fact, what I'll do is I'll put it just like right here, okay? And what I'll do is I'll group these two elements, all right? But maybe I can go for a longer uh, marking. Do you guys know what this marking is called, by the way? This curved marking? I'm actually very curious. I've seen it before on different like league t-shirts and things like that but I've never I don't really know what it's called it's typically used like in the baseball world but here I'm gonna click group okay and so I have my essentially my my text that says Bobcats and it's grouped together and what I could do is I could give it like a slight slant and I can increase its size right just something like this maybe even change maybe even change just just a little bit and what I could do is I could drag the image right here and maybe something will look cooler if I give it like a color to it right and let's just change the background to black first of all let's just do that and what I like to do here and uh, let me ungroup this again so I can grab the text um, and let's position this backward grab the text and let's change the color to a yellow and you can see here now it's kinda like one thing this looks better, and this looks cooler, in my opinion, right? So, definitely looks somewhat interesting, okay? And what what we could do is we can get an idea as to how this looks right here on Redbubble by looking at it as if a person would wear it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download this in a transparent format. So, let me go ahead and do this. Download in a transparent format, okay? And you can see here, this has character to it. If this you know, somehow was released up here, uh, maybe it would, you know, get a sale, you never know, right? And so what I could do in terms of keywords as well, and, and since we're doing a video on this, with this we could type in baseball, we can type in bobcats, we could do really anything we want in terms of, uh, of uh, keywords, and, you know, we could find some success. So what I'll do is I'm going to go on place it, and I'm actually going to add this within place it and give it a test. So let me go ahead and pause my screen and uh, add this within place it. Okay, so here I am on Place It. What I could do is I can search for something like baseball. Okay, so let's go ahead and search for baseball. And we'll see what comes up. And we can give this a test by seeing how it'll look on somebody. So we have this model right here. Let me go ahead and click on this model. And let's upload our Bobcat design and see how it looks on this model. Right. So the cool thing about this, guys, is like I said, we can get a visual as to how this works. And then when we add this actual image, we can take this image and put it on our Instagram account, for example. And that will, like I said, help us promote what we're selling. So I can open this up here and we have our Bobcats design. I'm going to just drag it a little bit upward. Let's hit crop here and we'll see what comes up. I can always edit it if I want. And that, I actually think that looks 
pretty decent. <clears throat> and what I want to do is I want to set the background here to be black so it could just appear a little bit better. And that's kind of one of the things about when you have a yellow design like this. It's kind of hard to see the actual design, at least just in my opinion. And so we have the jersey color. Let's go for black. And there we go. And I think that looks pretty good. I don't know about you guys. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we can uh, change the belt color of the athlete here to be some sort of yellow. Maybe we can go for like, or maybe even we can go for a black belt with a yellow pair of pants. Maybe that will work. I mean, who knows, right? Um, let's see what we can get here when, when this, yeah, so something like this, in my opinion, looks pretty good. Um, and you could, like I said, get, you know, fancy with it. You can make the sleeves yellow as well, right? Um, makes the pants and the sleeves the same color of yellow. I mean, that would be ideal, but, um... You can see here, it looks pretty decent. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Make the hat yellow, even. And that looks, in my opinion, pretty good, right? And so this will give us a good visual as to how this, is lo how this looks. We can even click on this and see how it looks even just off of a baseball design. So something like, let's let this load here. And let's insert our image, recently uploaded, or, you know, Let's go ahead and just upload it, re-upload it, upload from device. Let's go ahead and go here, and let's hit crop. We can see here, the design is here, but it's a little bit too much downward. I want to increase this text a little bit upward over here. So let me go ahead and click resize and just drag this upward. Probably needs a little bit more to be 100% honest with you. Let me go ahead and do that. This is just to get a good visual, see how it looks. And we can ink, make the uh, shirt color black as well, if that's something we want to do. And to me, that looks pretty good, okay? So now we kind of get the idea as how to create these designs with different setups. So once again, we have the image followed by the text. We have text followed by image followed by another text. And I just went with this baseball setup, like a baseball kind of look. Um, but you don't need to do it that way. You could do it any kind of way you want because you get to be creative with how you're creating these designs, right? We have text that's coming downward, kind of like this with an image. Uh, we have also text coming downward on the left with an image. Um, and you know, we could set it up kind of the, really the way we want, as you guys could see. If I really want to get fancy with it, I can do something like, like this maybe, right? Or I could do something like where I could duplicate this and I could create different, you know, setups like this where I go over here and I could create like the number one and I can add, I can change up like the style it's written. So let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of text we have here make this bigger right so we have like number one like almost like a like a jersey kind of style right so we could do different things right and we could say you know instead of bobcats we can set things up like mom of the mom of the year right mom of the year and we can make this you know and we could search people who like really really love bobcats like women who love bobcats or bobcat mom and uh, believe it or not there are some people that have the bobcats as pets uh, which I, I couldn't tell you why but you know and we could put an image something like this and you know uh, let's go ahead and do something like this mom of the year right with something like this we'll make this smaller right and so we could we could just get you know fancy with it, it doesn't have to say mom of the year it could be you know dad of the year it could be uh, it could be, you know, even a two-liner kind of thing, and we can decrease the uh, line height, right, the line spacing, something like this. So different setups you could do for different scenarios, different situations. Make this smaller, right, and then kind of make it all bigger. This doesn't probably doesn't look as good, but we got to set it up, you know, the best way we possibly can. But you guys kind of get the point. So hopefully this video was a little bit of like a mini class on just designing in general. And you can get creative with it. Obviously, we're not going to create designs for every single one of these because it would take so much time. But uh, I think this video kind of, you know, 14 minutes is pretty long video. So uh, we're going to leave the video up where it is. If you guys need help or have any questions on this, uh, leave it in the comments down below. And, uh, you know, hopefully this helps you out. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching and uh, peace out. Bye.